everyone, today we're going to head out and go on a little trip down memory lane. We're actually going to head to the other side of Seoul, back to where this all started when I studied abroad here. Um, and we're just gonna take a look around the neighborhood that was my home for a year and I love it dearly and I haven't been back in quite a while, like with specifically looking for the places that I used to frequent. So I know so many things have changed, um, but I hope if any of you guys studied at Yonsei or Ide or anything like that, um, that you can come on this little trip with me. You know, it's gonna be emotional, but I'm excited. Um, but before we jump into it, I just want to give a shout out to this video's sponsor, and it actually ties in perfectly with kind of back to school stuff. Um, this video was sponsored by Grammarly, your digital writing assistant. You've probably heard of it mostly dealing with checking your spelling and your grammar, which the free tool does. You can go right now and add it as a browser extension, and it will do basic spelling and grammar checks all over the internet, um, whether it's social media or email or even it's on Google Docs. They also have premium, which is insane. And you guys know that I've been writing a lot recently and it actually offers vocabulary suggestions, formatting suggestions. It's just, if you want to take your writing to a more professional level, Grammarly Premium is insane and it's really helped me especially the fact that it's on google docs um that's where i mostly use it and if you don't trust me kurt has actually used it um especially for like emailing he's used it maybe over two years and so if you are interested in grammarly premium i have a 20 percent discount for you if you go to grammarly.com slash cakes the link will be down below um but yeah i mean both of us we are now a grammarly house it genuinely does do more than just check your spelling, it it actually improves your writing. And if you are going back to school or anything like that, um, you should definitely check out the Grammarly editor, which focuses on long form writing content. So if you're worried about essays, if you're worrying about anything like that, comes in clutch. But now let's really go back to school. I'm so nervous. We're gonna hit my favorite bakery. I'm gonna stop rambling. I'm really hungry. So let's get on the bus and go to Iwada. bus stop that is Ide Humun, Ide's back gate, because this is actually closer to the international dorms that I stayed at at Yonsei. Um, it's actually, Yonsei is a really big campus, so it's quite far from the main gate. Um, but like I said, first we're going to hit a bakery that I absolutely adore. I really hope the owners are still there. They were like a hundred years old when I used to come here. I think I heard that their kids actually took over, so we'll see, but I'm hungry, so let's get some bread. And it totally was the same um, really old couple. My heart. Oh my god. Okay, now let's head to the dorms. right here under construction used to be like a little house literally just a home that was where all of our study abroad stuff was um, but they've since moved over and obviously that's gone now and then this whole area used to be a pine tree forest where the kids from the local kindergarten would come and play does not look like a pine tree forest anymore wow I think these are all more dorms but wow. Not to be creepy to zoom in on their rooms, but one of these 
was my room and it was low-key haunted, no big deal. Technically the basement floor. SK Global House. So as you can see, to my right is SK Global House and then directly right here, um, I'm not sure if it's still in this building, but this is where the Korean language classes were. And then right up these stairs is where most of the international classes take place. Um, so really, if you live here, and I'll show you I House, I think. If you live here, it's really close, um, unless you're like me and a handful of other people who decide to take classes on the other side of campus, um, which is where we're gonna walk next. But I just distinctly remember our bus like precariously parked right up here. And then we all had to come down these stairs um, to get into our dorms. And we all arrived really late at night. But yeah, we all went down there. Memories. Um, but let me show you I House. I House. They had a low-key drug scandal there, uh, my year, so. <laughs> here is your international student building. I was here all the time. Um, it's a fine place. It's got vending machines, it's got bathrooms. What else do you need? Actually, maybe it's not anymore. I'm not allowed to go in because um, I just can't <laughs> because of Corona, but um, that's so interesting. I wonder what this building actually is now but it used to be pretty much exclusively the foreign studies and now we're going to walk across campus up the giant mountain <laughs> oh my god look at these little mushrooms It's also just very funny that the school that I went to in the States um, had a very similar architecture style to this. So to then come to Korea and have my school look the same was very interesting. And yeah, I just love it a lot. But this whole area, brand spanking new. This used to be a street for cars. You would constantly be dodging taxis and buses and motorcycles on your way to class. They changed that stress-free walking environment love it literally did it started building it um the year after i left but so yeah if you're gonna start coming to yonsei soon walk freely enjoy enjoy your your walk to class <laughs> This is where I had my one philosophy class and bless his heart, my professor, he was actually from a different academy, which was more, he was, he basically was like a civil servant. Um, he was like a government employee. And so he really paid attention to all of the rules of like, you can't use the air conditioner until it's like over 28 degrees Celsius or something like that. So, or even like the heater. Um, so, you know, bless his heart. He was trying to save the earth. <laughs> And follow rules but we were always like the wrong temperature in that class that's literally all i remember from that class is like being the wrong temperature <laughs> I only came in here once 
I remember it being very intimidating and very confusing and you needed your library card to sign in, like to even physically enter the building. And people in there are really serious. I just wanted to browse for books. So um, I did not study in the library, but you can. <laughs> The gym is new and it says sweat enthusiasm. No, thank you. And throw me back to the water and forget you ever found me and forget you ever lost me. Push me out to see, baby. It's the best thing for. This waffle cart. I'll be happy yeah. out there, baby. Fish below and stars above. And you'll be happier without me. So this place, this whole area in front of Uplex is pretty famous even when I was here um, before they arranged all the like busking stages. This was still the area where you'd get people bringing their instruments and busking or dancing or anything like that. This was the place to be at night. It was kind of like before you were good enough to go busking in Hongdae, you had to practice in Ide and Chincheon first. So this was always a place where you could see a lot of like new artists just kind of playing around. So it was really good vibes. But these, um, these stages are all new. <laughs> but there used to be a really good waffle shop right here, like an ice cream waffle shop. We would always get a waffle and then we would sit in this little seating area at all hours of the night. It was great, but now I don't eat. It's a meat place. Many great waffles were had, many great waffles. And because our dorms were closer technically to Ide, that's where we usually ate. So we're gonna go get some lunch at the food cafe, like old times. Misery is funny Cause misery is nothing And nothing is funnier than nothing Yeah And misery is hungry And souls are what it eats It devours all your insides And leaves you lighter than the breeze you down but there's nowhere I'd rather be when it starts to smack me around so sad story time way up on the tippy 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 top of this hill first of all it's where Kurt grew up Second of all, there used to be this restaurant called Botong Saram, which just means like usual people. And it was Totoro themed. And it was great. They serve, it was just like a normal Korean place, but they serve the poki as panchan, which is just all I ever want. Um, but they closed many years ago. The wound is still fresh though. Um, but instead we're going to one of my favorite little places to study, little hidden cafe called the rain tree. It looks suspiciously closed though now that I'm looking at it, so we'll see. Love's company and I love misery. We'll take out a second mortgage. We'll start a little family. Oh my God. What? Why was this door even open? <sighs> My heart is breaking into tiny little pieces. I gotta go. I gotta close this door. I hope they're... Oh my god! I thought they just weren't open right now. But they are actually very much closed. That 
is just the saddest thing. This, I knew this video was gonna be kind of like melancholy going back to my old haunts, but I didn't expect Rain Tree to be closed. I didn't even get a chance to say goodbye. Dang, oh my God. Well, okay, let's find somewhere else to sit. I need to use the restroom and be sad. <laughs> Everyone will be miserable and everyone will sing together. I know there's something wrong with me, but I hope I never get better. Cause I like it. I like it. Stop what you're doing to me. Um, I had the caramel orange cake and it was so moist. It had that really good, just like um, sugar icing on it, candied orange peel. Man, excellent. And yeah, it was vegan and it was crowded. There were lots of people there, but like a nice crowded, there's Wi-Fi, not super strong, but there's still Wi-Fi. Um, yeah, so cute. The woman working there was adorable. So anyway, now we, oh, she scared me, jeez. Um, now we're going to walk through the E-Day campus just a little bit. Um, and then we're gonna head home. It is, it's been consistently raining and I do not have an umbrella, which is fine, but I think it's, it's a good time to go home. So let's do one last loop through my old haunts and back where we started. We're back at the Ide Humun bus station right in front of the Iwatong Bakery. God, thank you for joining me. This was just so sweet. Honestly, kind of sad because I was never alone when I was walking around here. I always had my group of friends. So I miss you, Kayla. I miss all my Yonsei friends, all my friends from that time period. They've all since like dispersed to various places around the world. Um, but I miss you guys so much. Um, things in Seoul, I mean, anybody who's been here can attest to this. Things in Seoul change so quickly. And um, like this, I mean, technically this was Kurt's neighborhood growing up, but he's like, I don't recognize it at all. It doesn't feel like home um, because things are just constantly changing. So man, I'm so sad about Rain Tree, but that vegan place, at least I had good cake afterwards. I had two pastries today. Can't complain, happy about it. So anyway, I'm going to get on the bus, but thank you for joining me. And thank you again to Grammarly for sponsoring this. If you would like to try their premium service, which I seriously, me and Kurt both highly recommend it. Um, you can go to my link, which is in the description box for 20% off, um, grammarly.com slash cakes. it should be. So yeah, thanks again to Grammarly. If you are going back to school, um, be safe. Be strong, everybody's rooting for you, hoping that you're safe no matter where you are, what you're doing. So yeah, especially if you're a teacher, man, just sending love to everybody as always. Anyway, before I get hit by this motorcycle, I am going to go <laughs> catch my bus. So I will see you guys later. Thank you always, bye.